Special the award because kumikita pa si original award the Your Honor. Our housing project is only 250, 300, 500 per month, and they are renting it out at 3,000, 4,000 by other persons interested occupying. According to the NHA, there are still 3,800 housing units available for those who wish to apply for housing. The much-awaited investigation on President Rodrigo Duterte's war on drugs would still take some time before it begins. Dante Amento will tell us why live. Dante, go ahead. Diego, there is no definite time yet. When will the, the International Criminal Court, or ICC, begin its investigation over the Philippines' war on drugs? And still no specific respondents of the deaths of thousands of drug suspects under the Duterte administration. For now, the request for a full-blown investigation is pending at the ICC pretrial chamber that was submitted by former ICC Chief Prosecutor Fato Binsoda. In an interview, international law expert and justice program associate director of the Human Rights Watch, Paramprit Singh, says it will probably take three months for the for, uh, pre-trial chamber to decide whether or not to allow the investigation. And even if the probe will formally start, it would be a long and tedious work for the prosecution to gather and compile the evidence. And the court can can issue a warrant of arrest when probable cause will be established during the trial of the case. Meanwhile, the National Union of People's Lawyers, or NUPL, have disclosed that President Rodrigo Duterte cannot be uh, considered as respondent because the probe has not yet started, but they are ready to provide all the necessary evidence if needed to indict the chief executive and other liable individuals. Yung mga papeles kasi ay nainisip namin no, na kailangan nila na galing gobyerno would be police reports. Hindi ko alam no, kung bakit sila nangingimi pa or nagtatago pa. Pero eventually, makaka, makukuha din naman namin yung mga papeles. Una, yung, yung mga biktima na uh, uh, yung mga biktima, yung kapapilya nila, may, may karapatan na i-access yung dokumento. The NUPL adds they are also prepared to bring the witnesses outside the country to testify. Kung usapin naman ng access dun sa witnesses or mga dokumento na hindi makapasok sa Pilipinas, edi pwede naman kami gumawa ng paraan na kami ay yung mga witnesses yung lalabas ng bansa. And that's the latest live. Back to you, Diego. Thank you, Dante Amento, reporting live.